Look, I don't want any bad blood between us, okay? You're my best friend. Same here, buddy. The thing is, is that I'm determined to be the guy who ends up with Sheridan, not you. There you go, being cocky again. You know, did you ever think that maybe Sheridan might not want to go out with either of us? Look, Luis, like I said, okay, Sheridan's been all over the world. And she's never found the right guy. Now she's home in Harmony and she's dating the two of us. And she knows she can't do any better. Her only problem is which one of us to choose. Now, I may not have the money the Cranes do, okay? But I'm a Bennett. And my family goes farther back in Harmony than theirs does. I have the kind of bloodline that Julian and Alistair care about. Heck, I'd marry Sheridan right now if she were ready. You've had two dates with Sheridan, Hank. Do you think you're jumping the gun a little? No, I don't think so. And deep down, you know you want the same thing. Admit it, Luis. Sheridan's the woman you want to marry to. I think you've gone off the deep end, Hank. I've had one date with Sheridan. That's a far cry from marrying her. But it's crossed your mind, right? Okay. I like Sheridan. But just because I go out to dinner with a woman, that doesn't mean I'm going to marry her. Even so, you aren't a guy who dates a girl unless you think it could go somewhere. Casual dinners, one-night stands, and toying with a woman's affections just isn't your style, Louise. That's why Beth was your girlfriend all through high school. You're a serious, one-woman kind of guy. So for you to date a member of a family that you've hated for as long as I've known you, well, that tells me that you must really like Sheridan. And that maybe, just maybe, you even love her. You think that I'm in love with Sheridan? Well, if you aren't, you're well on your way. Hank, we're trying to mess with my head. Okay, let's say you and Sheridan fell head over heels in love, okay? Could your relationship really go anywhere? I mean, hell, the Cranes already tried bribing you with FBI training just to keep you and Sheridan apart. Only it didn't work. I'll make detective on my own. Yeah? Then what? Sheridan's from a different world, Luis. You could have Sam's job, even be elected mayor, and her family still won't approve of you. I don't care what her family thinks. Well, maybe not. But what about Sheridan? Can you imagine being cut off from your family? Because that's what Sheridan's facing if you two get serious. Even as bad as you think the Cranes are, they're the only family Sheridan has. And it wouldn't be easy for her to be cut off from them. Or fair. No, it wouldn't. Look. I'm talking to you not as your competition, but as your best buddy and Sheridan's friend. And if you know in your heart that this can't work, and you've even said yourself that you could never be Mr. Sheridan Crane, don't lead her on, Luis. Don't hurt Sheridan. Mama. Hey. Let me buy a cup of coffee, huh? No, thank you, Luis. I'd rather we went for a walk. It'll give us a chance to talk. Sure. Something special on your mind? Luis, have you given any thought to what I said about not seeing Sheridan? You know, someone else just asked me that. And it's a damn good question. I, I like Sheridan. She's a good person. You know, she's fun to be around. She's beautiful. But I am starting to wonder where we'd end up if I keep seeing her. How could there be anything serious and lasting between me and a crane? I don't know. You know maybe I made a mistake when I asked Sheridan out in the first place. I guess I was just carried away when we danced that tango at the youth center. Perhaps. But we had a great dinner. I mean, we really clicked. She's a wonderful woman, Sheridan. I love her dearly as I do you. But I don't want to see either of you get hurt, Louise. Yeah. And there's that lousy family of hers. Not to mention the fact that she's rich and I'm not. I know I could never live Sheridan's lifestyle any more than she could live mine. But it's not as simple as that, is it? No. 
I know logically that it would never work, but there's a part of me that wonders why. Uh, if two people want each other, why should anything stand in their way? I've always told you that love is the only reason you should marry. But when you're dealing with people like the Cranes, maybe love isn't enough. Luis, before you fall in love with Sheridan, I'd rather you pull away before either of you gets hurt. Yeah. She's been hurt by love so much already. Yeah, she has, and I don't want you to add to her pain or to yours. Yeah. Well, I guess I got a lot of serious thinking to do, don't I? Yes, you do. But I know that whatever you decide will be the right thing for you and for Sheridan. Sheridan. How you doing? Good. Thanks. You? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm looking forward to our date. Well, I know we're gonna have a great time tonight. 